You know, I woke up this morning. <clears throat> I didn't check my phone. Went and got a little breakfast. Finished reading a little bit of this book I'm reading. And then I went to the phone. And I saw the tweet. I saw the tweet. Steel Toe's back at it again. He's, he's coming at me after he said, I'm done with this guy. I'm moving on. I'm putting my family first. This, this guy's unhinged. He doesn't know how to do this. I, I'm moving on to the next subject. And he's back at it again. After I defeated him, I made him look like the bitch that he is. And he is a bitch. A complete bitch. A delusional bitch. But what you know what happened? This guy who's playing radio in his basement because he can't get on the radio. He wants to be on the radio, but he can't. So he looks at every comment, every reddit post every tweet and he's seething that he got bitch slapped by me he's angry that he got defeated but he's trying to keep his cool he's like okay i'm gonna put april first i'm gonna put the kids first i'm gonna do the right thing i'm gonna move on but no his ego and him being the narcissist that he is by the way unwarranted ego for the lack of ability that you have you're not good at this you're every fucking Small, more, small market morning radio hack I've ever seen, and you're the worst at doing this. You couldn't put it aside, but what put you over, what happened was, and I found out, your idol, Opie, from Opie and Anthony, called you out, and he even admitted that you lost, and you ran like the bitch that you are, and that put you over. You're like, my idol, my idol said I'm the bitch. I can't do this. Uh, I got to do something. My ego. Fuck the family. Fuck my wife, April. I got to come back at him. And guess what? You made another bad decision, Aaron. Another bad decision. Bad decision after bad decision. Not only your audience should not trust you. They should not trust you. Because you contradict everything you say. You lie. And you're super delusional in what you're doing right now. I am unhinged. Okay. I am a loose cannon, like Kevin Brennan says. I have nothing to lose. So you're coming back again because Opie said you lost? Well, guess what? Let's go. Let's roll. Because this isn't personal. This isn't a radio war. This isn't a wrestling shoot. I don't like you. You're obnoxious. You're not talented. And you're a dickhead. And I don't like how you treat your fucking family. I don't like how you cheated on your ex-wife. I don't like how you knocked her up while going through a divorce after you cheated her. I don't like how you took this poor girl, April, from the woods, this small town girl who doesn't know anything, who hasn't seen anything, and you tricked her. You tricked her into marrying you. She doesn't have any sense of what's out going on right now. April, I told you, go leave right now. Leave right now, because it will end badly. You should not be taking care of his three children. Those aren't your children. Those are Ashley LaRue's children. You said, oh, they're my own children. No, you don't have children. Ashley LaRue does, who's, by the way, with all the research I've done, great woman, great mom, great mom, published author, working her ass off, providing for her family. And she has a great husband with a real job. 401k, benefits. He's not like you, Aaron, who's begging for money on YouTube. That's what you do. Say what you want about Opie. Say what you want about Anthony. Listen, they made it in this business. By the way, Opie and Anthony, both of you, stop it. You guys got a huge payday in this fucking business. You guys made it. Get the fuck out. Disappear. If I made the money that you made, and we had the same radio agent, Bobby, and I, you would never see me again. I would do exactly what Sean Connery did. I would fucking retire from show business, go to the Bahamas, live on the beach, and die on the beach. Why are you still around? And Opie, Anthony, regardless if you like me or not, regardless if you think I won or not, you created all of this nonsense, all this bullshit. You, you gave birth to this steel toe guy. You gave birth to this red bar. You gave birth to fucking Carl from who... They're doing what you're doing, a shitty version of what you did. All of this is because of you. So... Before uh, you got my back, I want to let you know you're responsible for this nonsense and this bullshit. And this guy, Aaron, you were never in radio. You like to pretend you were in radio. You never moved out of Minnesota. You were on a very weak-ass FM signal where you sold radio ads to be on the radio. That's not being in radio. 
Opie and Anthony, they were in radio. Oh, they were in radio. I was in radio, motherfucker. We got paid salary to come in, show off, and get the fuck out. We had health insurance, benefits, and an agent. Something you've never had your entire life, okay? You've never had radio uh, uh, salary. You've never had insurance. You've never had an agent. That's not being in radio. So you went from being a radio salesman. By the way, scum of the earth, radio salesman. You're the scum of the earth, and that's exactly what you are, Aaron. You're the scum of the earth. So you went from selling ads on the radio to begging for money on YouTube. That's your career. That's your career. You're 36 years old. You went from selling ads on the radio to begging for money on the internet. If you were so talented, you would have gotten a bigger opportunity in a bigger market, but it's never going to happen. It will never happen. In April, you will leave him someday. Listen to me. Listen to me, April. Listen. Listen, Woods girl. Listen, small town girl that's been tricked, get the fuck out of that marriage. I'm telling you, this guy's ego, his narcissism, he's a fucking delusional moron, makes bad decision, doesn't think about his kids. If he thought about his kids, he wouldn't be starting this shit. He wouldn't be coming after me. He, if he thought about his ex-wife, he wouldn't have cheated on her and he wouldn't be doing what he's doing now. Now he's putting her through this. Now he's putting his kids through this. Now he's putting you through this. 10 years from now, you will call me by then you will have my number because I will be helping you get through this shit. And you'll say, thank you, Chad. Thank you. Even though he wasted the best years of my life, thank you. I should have listened to you 10 years ago. Hopefully it's sooner. Pray to God it's sooner. Get the fuck out of that marriage. This guy is a fucking douchebag. He's the douchebag beyond douchebags who doesn't think about his family. He doesn't think about his marriage. And all the Steel Toe fans, if you're watching... And you're trying to think, oh, no, what do we do? We gave this guy money for so long. What do we do? Did we make a bad decision? Yes, you did. He's duping you. He's using you. He's a salesman. He's a salesman. He makes his money about talking about other people on the Internet, successful comics, people who have made it. That's what he does. That's the only reason he gets clicks. He's nothing but a troll. He's a guy who lives on Reddit. He's a shitty, shitty version of Red Bar the same diluted product you can get anywhere do not give this guy money make him get out there and get a job earn his living like ashley larue's husband make him earn a living don't give him a a fucking penny on the internet oh we meet today's goal every time he says we we're going to meet today's goal or we got today's goal he says thank you you suckers for giving me money the goal that's your salary that's your life hey Let's hit today's goal. Give me money. Give me money, dummies. Dummies. Hey, dummies. Give me money. I want money because I have to provide for my kids, my three kids and my family, instead of being a real steel toe and getting my fucking boots on and going to work. Aaron, you're not good at this. You're delusional in your abilities. You think you're good. You think you're shocking. You think you're winning. Oh, you said you ran off my live stream. I saw that clip. You were muting me like every fucking hack radio guy out there and talking over me, pretending like you're owning me. You've owned nothing. You look like the fool in all of this. Even Opie realizes you look like the fucking fool. Everybody's been saying you look like the fool. Comedians, by the way, big time name comedians have texted me saying, dude, this guy's a bitch. Oh my God. And I'm throwing them under the bus because they don't want to be a part of this shit. They have other things to worry about. But you made it personal with me. You made it personal. You came at me nonstop for three and a half months, pulling up bullshit internet stories, fucking fake ass stories, shit you found on Reddit, and you made it personal. And then you came up with bullshit, making up stuff. You made it personal. Aaron, I don't like you. I don't like you. This is not a shoot. This is not radio wars. This is me not liking you. And if I'm, by the way, I've been on the phone with Tammy Bronson at House of Comedy. I'm like, please book me. Book me in Minnesota, stat. I got to get back there. And the only reason is because I'm going to be in your backyard. I'm going to go on Tom Bernard. And I want you to be a man and come face me. And I'm going to DabbleCon April. Can't wait to see you, honey. Can't wait to see you. You talk that shit, April. He brought you into this world. You can't handle it. Go shoot your crossbow. Go in the woods. This is not for you. You're not built for this. He's not thinking about you or your well-being. He's a terrible husband a shitty person. Get the fuck out. You don't know any better. You're a victim. You are a victim. Yeah, you are a victim like those girls, like uh, uh, 
Castro in Cleveland who kidnapped those chicks and put them in the house for 10 years. They had to escape. They didn't know any better. You're the same fucking victim raising someone else's kids. Those aren't your children. Just remember that. They have a beautiful mother that takes care of them. You're not the mother. Be a real woman and give birth on your own. And then you can be a mother. I hate these pretend stepmothers and these stepfathers. It's pretending, just exactly what Aaron's doing. Pretending. He's pretending to be a radio guy. He's pretending to be a shock jock. He's pretending like he went. I hate delusional pretenders. This is the real motherfucker right here. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. The same guy who called out Burt Kreischer, the same guy who called out Pat Oswald. Who am I pandering to? What side am I pandering to? Where's my gain? You even said it, Aaron. This is how you do it in this business. You fucking fake it and kiss ass. That's what you do. You said it out of your own mouth. You said, you got to kiss ass and fake it. That's what you do. I'm not faking it, motherfucker. I'm unhinged. We're going to do this. And guess what? You made a bad decision like you continue to make to come back at me once again. And you came back at me weak by muting me and then exiting the live because I was saying some ugly things like I'm saying right now. But guess what? This video is out there. This isn't a live stream. This is out there. And I ask everyone to share it. Put it on your little Reddit. Put it on uh, Twitter, social media. Tag him in it. Tag him in it. Tag his ex-wife Ashley LaRue in it. Tag April in it. Ashley, I'm sorry for bringing you into this, but it's your ex-husband continuing to make bad decisions not thinking of your family first. He's a fucking bitch, and he cheated on you because he had some weird small market radio show where he sold ads for, and he, he probably had some dumb girl like April come on to him, and he fucked her, and he ruined his marriage. And then he fucked you again and had a, another kid. But luckily, you're over it. You're married to a real man who has a real job. And thank God for that. April, you're up next. You're up next. I'll see you later. You made a bad decision. Another one. And I'm not going to stop. I'll keep going. I blew my load. I'm just getting warmed up. I got so much information on you. I have so much, including some people you used to work with that do not like you, by the way. You chauvinist. You asshole. You piece of shit. Let's do this. Let's dance. I'm the Z-Man, and I'm unhinged. Florida's greatest.